what is the benefit? Oh, actually, there's many benefits. Um, as mentioned, Mentor has been um, involved in the creation of standards with committees for decades. So this is not just about saying you have a product and here use the product. It's being able to talk to people that do design work, that have the materials to stay on top of what's next, because our customers are always designing the what's next. Um, this year we're very fortunate that we have all of the EDAs, most of the major EDAs, Zucan, uh, Mentor, Cadence, and Altium. They're all on board to uh, sponsor or host and host the meetings Carolina. this year. So. Uh, depth of knowledge as a designer and you never know when you're going to need to know something um, so when you add something to your field of knowledge you become just that much more valuable to uh, your clients and customers as you interface with them you can offer more solutions if you know what the solutions are so IPC Designers Council gives me access to solutions I might not otherwise know Oh, yeah, we learned some quick uh, that the technology update in the last what Amit gave it to us for, for laser trenching. I like that most. That's what I'm discussing with him. One of the other applications. The new little laser technique, I think uh, I'd use it in the future. I'd use it right now if I had a chance to. Yeah, I think we had a really good event. It was uh, him and Shaw from Cadence. He's the IPC 2581 Consortium Chairman. He talked about uh, the standard that they got together. Um, I think it was really good to see some of the nuts and bolts of the, of the, of the software. It's not really software. It's an open source uh, program. Uh, you can get all of your fabrication assembly and data that you would normally send to fabrication shops, assembly shops, that kind of stuff, all in one file rather than like the ODB++ is, is a whole bunch of little files or you have the you have to package together Gerbers and the drill file and test files and bomb, all of that is in one file and you can still protect it by just extracting the, uh, the fab section and the assembly section and sending them to the appropriate parties. Well, I didn't know about the, uh, the system before and I'm doing a lot of designs right now in Paul Sonics in house. And uh, so I'm always getting frustrated because there's a whole stack of files that you have to send out there to the ball houses and the fab and so on. And I want to make sure that I don't get them mixed up with an old rev and a new rev. So if I can combine them in one format, it's, it's a big plus for me, so yes, I'm going to pursue it now and, and I found that Pulsonics does support it, so that's good and I learned that today. So um, I, will, I will try it out and see how it goes. So yeah, well, we had a really good meeting. Um, uh, we sure would like to see more people come and attend the uh, IPC Designers Council meetings.